Yo, what's good? Big Cody on here with the This My Hurt podcast. Coming to you live from wherever the fuck we get live from. You know how it is. Bringing in my co host, Lady G and what's TG. New? And TG Love, what's good? Hey, what's hey. Up? How's everybody doing? Great. That's good. It's Tuesday. Uh, it's, it's, it's Tuesday, yeah. Too bad it's not. Well, it's Taco Tuesday, but we ain't got no tacos, so. And it's a Tuesday after a holiday. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday after a holiday. Yeah, that that's that's what's up. So, how was um how was everybody's holiday weekend? Uh, uneventful. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Literally nothing. Uh, and mine's just back to school stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I still have one young enough in school. Oh boy. Yeah, that's tough. She's um uh what 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 grade? She's a senior. I can't handle it. Oh my Aww. god, a senior. That's tough. Prom and everything and yes. Mm-hmm. The last of it all. Yep. <laughs> have any and the idea? Cost. Yeah, the co- the cost of senior <laughs> years is is un- is undeniably expensive. And let's let's not start a show tonight about horrible co-parenting. Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> we could though. Yeah, we definitely could. <sighs> I mean, co-parenting is is tough, man. Very, very tough, very very tough. I don't know if if Dub's gonna roll tough. through. He said he would, but we'll see what happens with him. Yeah, tough, tough. It, it, it is. It, and it, it's crazy because I've I've been, I mean, you, y'all know I, I I got, I've been through it a bunch of times. You know what I'm saying? You got five okay. million. Huh? I say you got five million kids. <laughs> Take three or four away from that number, and maybe oh you're right. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you're the first Nick Cannon. No, not me. Oh no, no, yeah. not Nick yeah. Cannon. I don't have any baby mama drama. Don Don Corleone Cannon. Yeah. Corleone Cannon, right? <laughs> yeah. That's dangerous. So so what's this? Montclair State University? You repping? You repping tonight? I mean, I wasn't trying to, but I guess since it's back to school, that's my alma mater. So all right, all right. Mm-hmm. That's dope. That's dope. All right. Yeah. Lots of money so. wasted. <laughs> That's a shame. You're you're a, you're an intelligent young woman. I don't know why you say that. I mean, yeah, but like, if I could do it over again, I would have just picked a completely different career to follow. So, mm. all right, well, shit happens, right? It does, and things change. When I People first change. went to school, I thought I wanted to be like a teacher. In a school, but that changed. Why? Um, a lot of it is politics, and definitely don't get paid what they're worth. Right. There's that. A lot of hours being put in, not enough pay. Um, first year is very sink or swim, and uh my experience wasn't that great like the principal was a bitch so i didn't have like the best experience and mm. i didn't feel supported so uh yeah it was like half halfway through the year i think not even and i was like i gotta get out of here <laughs> oh <laughs> like, shit i can't do this anymore <laughs> i literally was like in a dart league we go out drink it on tuesdays I went to the same bar every Friday in Hoboken, um, became a regular. So, yeah, that was teaching. I also started smoking weed then. So, thanks. Thanks, teaching. That's all. (laughs) (laughs) Teaching made me an alcoholic. (laughs) Teaching (laughs) made me an addict. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's rather crazy. But um, I was also spoiled because... I did have opportunities to work in like private schools um, 
like special ed schools and there it was like all about the students so it like that encouraged me and made me think I was like going in the right direction um but then like once I was working in public schools and started to work in public school then I was just like oh yeah this is not this is not what it what it should be mm. you know um and it was it was just I, I was also just set up, I feel, because I had the only monolingual class because I worked uh, for Union City District and they have like bilingual classes mm -hmm. um, in kindergarten because you have a lot of Spanish kids and um, Indian kids like coming in. Um, so their classes were kind of like set up to, to be able to teach both mine was set up to only talk in english and teach in english and my aide only spoke spanish so that really made life difficult um lunch was always a disaster and it was like well if you can't communicate with the kids and they don't understand you you're gonna have problems but right. it was looked at as though i was the problem or the aid and maybe she was i don't know i hated it though uh, good people i met good teachers and other people there um and props shout out to them they've worked there for 20s and 30s of years like getting ready to retire and shit but wow i there's a lot of teachers that stuck through and there's a lot of teachers that left um and even when I was working with a tutoring company, I did a program where we we did like English and math for like the students who test lo lower in those subjects. And we had a, a shootout drill once. And uh, I was just like, First of all, I didn't even know what to do because I didn't work for the school. I worked for a company and I was not versed on all the things going on at that school and where the wow. hell to go to whatever. It's not like somebody sat down with me and was like, these are the safety things. You know, they send you stuff to read and I'm just like, okay. Um, the kids told me what I had to do. And we were in a room that had no windows. Um, oh, wow. So it, it was weird. We were all like trying to like squeeze into one area. And then like afterwards, like you're expected to like teach, like go back, like nothing happened. And I could tell the kids were like feeling some kind of way. This was middle school. So, you know, I, I was like, what's going on? Like, and then some of them just started telling me like, you know, this is scary. What if this really does happen in our school? Is it's really going to help us and protect us? And oh my God, just so many questions, so many fears, so many like, and it's unfortunate, but like, this is the world we live in now. Like, when we went to school, that wasn't even a thought. Like, we did fire drills. That right. was like the biggest thing we did. Um, but it's just it it took it took the i don't even know what the word is but not fun but like it took the life kind of out of it because yeah. it became very like morbid and it was just like you know how can i say to them like we're protecting you at all costs like but i don't know how true that is so like yeah you have an officer at your school and like that's what i told them you know like you have officers here they're usually close by um and in jersey gun laws are a little tough so i kind of like told them that but the truth is is like you just never know and can you truly be prepared i mean yeah we've taken i have to take courses through my job now for shooter drills um and what we need to do and the worst thing you can do is stay still. So you got to make sure that people don't just like shut down because that's what could happen. 
Right. Um, it's fright, flight, or freeze for some yeah. people. So they just teach you, like, know your exits. Uh, you know, if you're in a room, grab something that you can use as a weapon, basically. Like, protect yourself. And, like, if the shooter is going to come into a room that you're in or they get through, like, and there's a group of you, you come up with a plan to try to, like, ambush this person or whatever. So it's just crazy because, like, yeah, it's like, okay, we we think about these drills. We talk about what to do and stuff like that. But when the fucking moment hits or some shit goes down, it's like, what do you really do? Like, what is your body going to do? How are you really going to react? Are you prepared? Already? Like, I don't feel like I will freeze because I know what to do. So I'm just like, let me, you know, run the hell out of here if I can or hide in a safe place, locked or whatever. Um. And the good thing is that there are places like at my job where I am at where I can like run quickly and lock myself into a space. But damn, it's just crazy. But yes, I went from school to <laughs> to shootings, but yes, like <laughs> it freaking sucked. Uh and it's just not I don't know, there was fear there because of because of that too like that uh the whole drill kind of like made me question wanting to go back because it was like fuck like i don't want to be in that position i don't want to be in that position like just no like that's scary absolutely you know i think and it's it's actually made given me and many other people anxiety like I know you love going to the movies, but I can't go to the movies. Like, I feel some kind of way about going to the movies. I feel some kind of way about going places where there's a lot of people, um, festivals and things like that, depending where it is, where I live, about big parts of Trump country. And it makes me nervous sometimes when I see people and their Confederate flags and stuff like that. And I'm just like when will it end and it's just like it's like yeah never yeah it's it's just crazy just everything and and i don't like talking about guns but like i just it, something has to be done like we can't just continue on how we are because it's not working so yeah yeah i get it I get it. It's a different world we live in these days. Yes, it is. It is. You know, I just saw this video, um, a reel of, that Hubby sent me, and it's actually, it was, I guess, like one of the corner stores. Like, mm-hmm. definitely had to be in some kind of projects or something, right? And now, why does it got to be in some kind of project? Because the there, was a, there was bulletproof <laughs> glass in front of the guy as a little thing. You know, like, come on. It could have been the hood, not the projects. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely on. hood projects, projects, whatever. The projects are the hood. Exactly. Uh, so the guy fucks with them. And when they ask for a lighter, he gives them a pink lighter. Let me tell you something about the insecurities of some black men. Holy shit. They got so upset, so mad that he would give them a fucking pink lighter. Like, what do you think? I'm a a bitch? What the fuck? You want me to come show you that I'm a man? And I'm just like, bro, it's a pink lighter. Calm the fuck down. It's not that serious, bro. It's not that serious. And they are flipping their shit. And I'm just like, this is not worth this. What? What? No one's questioning your manhood because of the color of your lighter. Like, how sad and pathetic are you? Really? It's the insecurity, you know? It's, it's like, so ridiculous. It's so like, the they... homophobia is beyond, yeah. beyond. Because got... a pink lighter. You want to hear something funny speaking to that shit? Like, I was telling, I was talking to Dubs about this yesterday, I think it was. I was like, you know how every time somebody says something that that sounds a little bit, you know, gay or whatever, they say no, no homo or, or mm-hmm, no ditty or whatever it is. 
the thing is that what I said to him was, why does the thought of something someone says has to, what is, what is it about it that makes something in your head say gay? You know what I'm right. saying? Like, like if he says, oh, that, 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 that hot dog is big, no diddy. Uh, right. Or, or that's, that, that's, that, that's, there's too much water coming out of that. No diddy. Like, why does the oh thought have God. to be, why does the thought have to be gay? Right. What, what is it is going on in your head that makes you think everything that's being said, you have to say that to because you're. Because people are so self conscious about what other people think of them. Yeah. But, but to, but sexual, sexualizing everything is a little too much too. Like, like we're not talking, like, why are you thinking in such a sexual manner when you're kind of not even talking? about that you know well that's the same thing with that that's what she said like right. there, was, there was a period where no one could say anything oh god without people without people saying that's what she said mm -hmm. like ugh, i got so tired of it i just i was like i'm not talking to nobody <laughs> yeah because every that. time every time somebody says something right away it's like oh it's um no homo or no diddy or whatever the case but is it's all like, of a sudden why do you like have everything to justify that to people that's, like, that's what, what i don't understand yeah like yeah. why do i have to like sit there and say yeah no homo. what does that because mean? i'm ter i'm looking at everything you're saying and i'm like oh that's so gay why would you say that <laughs> you know, what if, you know what what if it was and that's you know what, what i'm saying I mean? like, like what if it was it's not nobody's <laughs> business but your own I, I'm, I'm, it's it's crazy. Like, why the fuck? Why does a thought right away have to go to something gay or homophobic? You know what I mean? Like, you can't say shit these days. Right away, you got to be like, it's people's Yo. insecurity with themselves. Is all that is. Right, and it's and it is homophobia because they don't know enough. Like, I can't tell you how many. I I hate to say black men, but yes have like are homophobic in a way like they don't realize it either it's just like there's certain things and they'll say um i'm not a fan of anybody using the f word towards someone and i hear that a lot and that really bothers me like i don't think it's okay to say that to anyone like yes in in uh the uk they do call cigarettes fags still they do um but here we know the connotation tone and everything that goes into that word so that i don't like yeah yeah i i, I get it man it's 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 yeah, it's, it's crazy it's crazy it's like ac accepted culture yeah, that, that's exactly it's exactly it. And that's, that's why exactly it continues it. because if you don't say no homo, then like, oh yeah, like oh, why is he saying that? Like, why are you thinking in that manner? Like, I don't understand. Exactly. Again, like, it's a pink lighter. Please make me understand. <laughs> <laughs> a pink lighter, guys. Yeah, people take offense to a lot of different shit these days, man. But I mean, when these guys were wiling out, they were wiling out. The one guy was like, he had like four drinks in front of him. He's like, I ain't paying for you for this shit then. And like left. And I'm just like, he's like, bro, no, what are you doing? Like the other guy like flipped, like started throwing things and everything. I'm like, it is not that serious. Be like, I don't want a pink lighter. Can I have another color? Use your words. You know, like I felt right. like kindergarten all over again. Like, use your words. What is it that you want? Like, why get mad? Like He's not calling you anything. He's not saying anything. He just knows that you're going to react. That's why he's doing it. But it's sad that that's the reaction that you're giving for a color of a lighter. I'd rock the pink lighter. I'd be like, yeah. And what? So mess my with brother, me. let me tell you something. I One of my brothers, and I have four or five of them boys, uh, he is so like they say that secure guys have no problem rocking whatever he literally will walk out of the house in a whole pink suit 
with pink shirt, pink hat, pink shoes, like purple. He loves that stuff. And he he definitely is not a, you know, homosexual or anything, but he's like, I'm secure. And I love those colors. Pink well, is a know, nice I, I, color. I don't it know about is. pink shoes, but I mean, yo, yeah, but he goes that's... crazy. He I was gonna say those... he goes all out. Apparently, that man likes yes. wearing a spe- like his outfit down to the to the yes, feet. He coordination. Can... coordination, coordination. You gotta Definitely. coordinate, and yo, he you would so coordinate, wear the... <laughs> and he would wear the mushroom outfit. He would. Um, Love it. He is just, but he would. He wears those. I don't know if you guys have seen them. Um, and I've only seen them on Mexican guys. They're the boots that have the toe that like uh, curls up. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Those ugly shoes. And he's actually yeah. got a pair of them stupid things. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Those those are very ugly. Like alligator yeah. boots. I'm like, oh. Nah, I don't even think alligators want to be seen on them boots. <laughs> absolutely not i think they are like snake or alligator you know like they're usually like very being associated with those shoes hilarious oh my goodness oh yeah yeah that that's that's some yeah that's especially if they're pink too on top of that oh yeah he he be man he has shown up and i mean he can really dress nicely when he wants to but he has shown up to some events, and I'm just looking at him like, "What in the world?" <laughs> uh, you know, the hats with the the stetsons with the feathers in them. And... Oh my god, he's oh pimping my... like legit. Yes. <laughs> All he needs is the Technicolor dream coat. I'm pretty sure if you're <laughs> from he has a cane. Uh-huh. Or... People from Jersey City or have hung out in Jersey City, passed through Jersey City, whatever, there is definitely a chance that you have seen that big pimp that walks around. Oh, that gosh. man, it would be the summer. It wouldn't matter. He his was fur decked coat, his fur hat. with everything. And of course you notice this person because you're just like, what in the... It feels like it's from a movie, you know? Yeah, you're just like, this yeah. ain't real. This is like from Friday or some shit. This ain't like the real thing. Oh. But yeah, no doubt. That man, he would just be hanging around. All like, year round. I would just be like, damn. And color scheme, yep. head to toe. Always. Yeah, same way like whether it was like baby blue yellow like yeah. just insane and hilarious because it's you know you give props to that guy i have mad respect for that man yeah it was like, if, you could, if you could rock it all year round mm-hmm. mm. he didn't care no nah, he most likely still doesn't <laughs> you know hopefully he's still alive doing you know it that's all i'm saying still pimping. big pimping that's what it is i well, mean i, I mean, hope he's like really not ladies. pimping but <laughs> that's like yeah, these ladies I see yeah. here, like on the buses and things like that in Camden, um, who they're older ladies, and of course, you know they're they're all dressed up, everything matches, but it's like it's so I, I don't even want to call it like they have makeup on that makes them look like clowns, and like it's very it's street like, ish as they used to say. I I don't even know, but they're usually the older ladies. Um, the oldest and, and street walkers. Literally, yeah, they're like, they, I'm not changing like my way at all. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a little crazy. All that pounded on makeup and stuff, and yeah. not for, I, I don't I don't want I don't want to get on viejitas, but a lot of them smell the same, like with their perfumes and shit. Yeah, like, I don't even know what that smell is, but I do. Not <laughs> I think it's an Avon I, perfume. I'm telling like, you right now, that Vantilly shit was bought Lake. from Avon. Whatever it smells like, it's an Avon yeah. perfume. I wouldn't yeah, doubt it's, it. It's something because they all smell the same way, man. And it's and like some a of them, powdery. Some of them yes, smell like those, yes. those busky, those, like yeah. Some of them smell like those purple candies. Oh, the violetas. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I'm like, yo, that smells like candy. And some of them smell <laughs> like, yeah, it's just weird scents that these Avon products tend to have. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. And, They're all and for that scent, though. 
That's why I'm 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 glad the kids always buy me colognes and shit. I always smell different. I got all types of fucking colognes there that they, they get me every year. I get like three or four different ones. Mm. I got a I got a, uh, a a little tub full of them shits, all different ones. So wow, every day I smell a little different. I don't I don't like to to go crazy and I, don't, I hope do you, when I do you I hope have when that, I, that Sauvage. Sauvage. Yeah. Sounds like a fancy not. way to say yeah. savage. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does sound like a fancy way to say savage, right? Savage. Yeah, but that's what, savage. I mean, that's how it's spelled, but Johnny Depp and whoever. Oh. Uh, uh, oh I think it's an I, St. Laurent. Uh, mm. uh, no, I don't have that one. I have, the ones I have, I have. I have Dolce and Gabbana. Of course. I have John Paul Gaultier. Mm-hmm. I love that one. I have I have oh I have a couple old school ones. I got Jakar. Oh gosh. I got Curve. <laughs> CK1, CKB. Oh my god, CK1. I have I have I have Cool Water. He is old. Cool Water. Heck? Yeah, I got oh, I got a whole bunch of them shits. And I got um Johnny Chow. I think it's called Jimmy Jimmy Chow Jimmy Chu Jimmy Chu like Chu Yeah Johnny something. Chow Johnny, Johnny Chow <laughs> some shit. Some so shit like There's that. so many songs about Jimmy Chu's and letters <laughs> and you're like Johnny Johnny Chow. Johnny Chow You definitely sound like a grandpa like that was your grandpa moment You were like Johnny Chow like nah grandpa <laughs> try again <laughs> Oh gosh Oh shit. Try again, Grandpa. I'm gonna have yeah. to call your kids on that one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a I got a bottle of that one too. <laughs> I'm gonna call it that one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one. Oh, that's oh shit. Good. Yeah. But um <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, whatever it is, it's, it's there. I don't know. Some men's colognes smell like alcohol to me, like rubbing alcohol. It's weird. Yeah. I I don't Polo, like those spicy right, ones. Cuba cold. No, but <laughs> what's going on? I'm oh, listening. I see now. So enjoy the conversation. Da Vinci. Ck one. Oh, I don't remember which one it was that I like the most, but Polo Red, Polo Red is good too. Polo, Polo Polo ones are pretty good. Some of them are dope, but yeah. So those are the ones I have, and and the thing is too is that I see sometimes I try to like get because I have body sprays and shit. Mm-hmm. Like I have this thing with I, if if I feel like. If I if I feel like if it's hot out and you know I know I'm gonna sweat I gotta I gotta put body spray on too on top you know because I don't I don't like to feel like I smell but if I feel like I smell I I shower and then I shower then I shower it's like yo I gotta oh wow well, next time I see you I'll be like yo you better check yourself you smell <laughs> <laughs> and my ass will be in the fucking shower like yo I can't I'm go I... to him. <laughs> <laughs> be like big c i can hear you from all the way over here i mean i can smell you from all the way over here yeah nah, man, fuck that. yeah fuck that man i gotta i gotta smell good i get that I i'm not like that though i used to be big on wearing stuff i don't really ever wear anything sometimes i wear body spray if i wear anything i still have my um my royale the spanish one the violet, the royal violet, the violeta, but the yeah. but not the purple one. Right. The the champagne looking one. Oh, okay. Sometimes I'll dab some of that on, make me feel you know Cuban real quick. Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> like hold on, hold on. Like the wig makes you feel Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter goes around and says, "Mommy, I feel Puerto Rican." Puerto Rican. <laughs> I'm like, but you're not. You're Peruvian. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought I saw oh. I thought I saw a video with a dog with a wig on that said something like that. 
Oh, yeah, because it was, it was a, about a wig. This it was wig, a chihuahua this wig makes with me a wig feel on. quite a reckon. Yeah, that's right. Quite a reckon. That. Yeah, that's funny. I saw that one. That is funny. That's fucking hilarious, y'all. That's fucking hilarious. I don't know what the hell happened to Dubs. I guess he fell asleep. Oh, well. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, anyway. So, what's... So, talk about TG. I want, I want TG. Talk about something that you're passionate about this week. No. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what's got you in I, your feelings I, of passion? I'm this very week? passionate right now about people registering to vote. I think it's very important to make sure that you are registered to vote. Each state has uh, certain dates and by which you need to do that in order to be able to vote for this election in November. This is not just for the presidential election. We are also many places voting for Congress, Senate, and governors. Make sure that you know what is going on where you are and you're making sure that your voice is heard in the poll. I don't want to hear shit about anybody saying that their their vote doesn't count because it does. Uh, Every vote counts. That's how people lose when people don't show up to vote. And yes, I am totally supporting Kamala. And I'm also very passionate lately about trying to squash the rumors or the falsehoods that have been spread about her and what she has done when she was DA in California. So I think it's very important for people to do their own Google searches and search for things and stop reading shit off of social media as information and fact, because there's a lot of bullshit out there and memes are not a way to get your information. You should be involved watching local news, watching world news, You know, don't limit yourself to one channel. You know, I do not watch Fox News, but sometimes I'm forced to just because it is good to hear what the other side is saying for the same things. So just remind me that I should never ask you once again to give me. You're going to get whatever's on my brain next week. It could be food, for all I know, that I'm obsessing about. But you caught uh, yeah, the I, political I, 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 moment I, I, for I me the, because I, I definitely caught the political moment. Because I yes. just shared, you know, October fifteenth is for PA. Um, I actually have my mail-in thing over there that I have to shove into the box out there. But yeah, it's all important. Right. Uh, this is an important election uh, for a lot of states. Here too, we're voting. PA is voting for other people versus just presidents. So it's important to have your voice heard. And to the idiots that talk about third party or whatever, if you really want a third party, then you need to start getting involved in your local government and make sure that you are represented and stop talking shit during the presidential election, like all of a sudden shit's going to change because it doesn't change overnight. What do I got to do to get my name on a ballot? Mm. Mm -hmm. Start showing up. And if you want to run for something, you totally can. You can see what's available and open. There's things at the local level that people can get involved. You just got to start meeting people, networking, all that stuff. You got to schmooze. You know, show up to local events that congressmen and senate people in government, even in the local level, are showing up at. I learned about, like, some places do uh, shredding. Like, they'll shred your papers. There's there's events that towns do where you could shred your stuff. Everybody, and it's free. Because some places you have to pay for that. Um. But yeah, there's a lot of events and stuff that they do over there, especially where you're at, I'm sure. Yeah, I've been wearing that for a long time. Maybe I could run for office or something. You got to you can get involved, but you got to get involved in and care and have like I guess a goal in mind of what it is that like what's the one thing you're trying to accomplish for your people? Make everybody eat Puerto Rican food on Sunday. 
gosh. Puerto Rican Sunday. Puerto Rican Sunday. Everybody gets to be a Puerto Rican. In Jersey. Everybody gets to be Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. On For one day. Just also, one day. Also, what I would what I would do, what I would do is I would make Super Bowl Sunday a national holiday. Why not? I would give I would I would now on I would make Valentine's Day a a, a, a holiday for women only. Men no, have to all get that. women when women have to get gifts on Valentine's Day. So Super Bowl Sunday, we get you know, because it's it's in it's in February and it comes it, it's around the same time. Right. So right. Super Bowl Sunday and Valentine's Day. Now we split. So what about the people who are in same sex couples and or women who love football and more than their than their the husband or man? Listen, say the same shit. You guys have it goes both ways. Men have a holiday. It's more March 14th, it's BJ and Steak Day. Okay. It's one month after Valentine's Day. So if if you're getting gifts for her. On Valentine's, then you can wait till the 14th to get your gift. Steak and a BJ. Not, I didn't know anything about that. It's very, it's been around for a long time. I'm surprised no, you I didn't know. Never, I've never heard that. March 14th. Mm-hmm. Put it on your calendar. Now you know. Now I know, and no one is half the battle, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now you just gotta find the date for that. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> I know I'll get the steak. He's taking applications, Lady Big C. He I, know needs... I'll get the, I know I'll get the steak. Uh, You'll get the steak. I'll get the steak. <laughs> you get the steak sure. yourself. You'll be like, I'll make my own <laughs> damn right. steak. I'll, I'll get me a couple of New York strip steaks and I'll be all right. There you go. Yeah. That's one way to do it for sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. I mean, if they did that, then wouldn't they have to... Well, I guess the Super Bowl is probably like the biggest, uh, bigger than the World Series. Yeah, Super Bowl is way bigger than that. Then I could see. I could see that. The thing is, the World Series is the best of seven games. You're right. It's not just one so day. Super Bowl is just one game. Right. So everybody celebrates that it's one Do game. or die. That's right. That's why I like football. Yeah. This is why I can never get down with baseball. It's too too much. It was yeah, too, much. too much. Too it much was shit. like, come on, bro. This is too many games. Too many games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Super Bowl is just one fucking game. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, win done. or you're done. And they're, they're try- usually they're, pretty good. They're actually trying to add another week to the season so they can have the Super Bowl the day before President's Day, so nobody has to go to work the next day. Ah, uh, d- double. Like kill two birds with the one stone. Yeah, Super Bowl Sunday, then everybody has a day off the next day. That would be nice. So you can get shit faced and fucking just have the day off the next day. Because that's mm. what we all need. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. After after a whole month of January, because that's really what it's about. Yeah. January, like one of the longest months of the year. That, that like isn't it crazy that. It, we're already going to be prepping for Halloween, and then right after Halloween, it's Thanksgiving. CVS has been prepping for Halloween since fucking a month ago. July. I know since fucking <laughs> July crazy. they've been prepping for Halloween. They have everything out. Like as as soon as uh, October hits, there's going to be stuff for Christmas. So yeah, yeah. it's like it, they don't even give us a chance. Yeah, but it is just crazy to me. Like we're in September already. Like the year is coming to an end. It's the most so. wonderful time of year for me. Yes, I do Football enjoy. Season. I'm enjoying this cooler weather. It's still hot during the day, but I'll take the evening coolness. I'm down with that. Yeah. But anyway. I can't wait for the sweater weather. I don't want to be. I love sweater weather. Yeah, the best. Yep. Oh, what the fuck is this? I know what? who this is. You have a question. What if women stopped fronting for once? They wear high heels. This ain't their height. BBLs and breast implants, it ain't naturally theirs. What? (laughs) So what if women wear heels? I mean, you could see she's wearing heels. Duh. Like, 
try to find yourself someone that doesn't need all that. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we're darned if we do, darned if we don't. Because, like, you know, whatever. guys out there talking about they want all that. And then, you know, other people are like, oh, I don't somebody know actually, with that. somebody actually has a question for TG Love. Oh Lord! All right. It's it, it's it's not a, not a juju. We we don't normally talk this shit, but I'm just gonna let this slide for the night. But okay. Here's the question. Okay. How does feel about term limits? If a person is doing bad, I see that it can work, but only allowed two terms. Then what? Yeah. So I totally agree with term limits. I think that we should have term limits on uh, Congress as well as the Supreme Court. I don't think it makes any sense for someone to have a job for the rest of their life, um, like a guaranteed position like that. I think it, there, it, times change and with it, so do people and people's minds and thought process and perspectives. And um, I feel like we don't get to move forward if we keep all the old farts just sitting in there making decisions for people um, and they're not representing their constituents. That's why it's important to vote at a lower level uh, and making sure that the people that are in there are voicing your concerns. And then when it comes time for them to be reelected, make sure they don't get reelected. Like that's what it comes down to. But the thing is people don't want to pay attention, be aware. Like I feel like people just like to bitch but they don't want to do the work. So you got to want to, if you care, then you got to get involved somehow. Like if you have a kid in school, you should be going to, to the school meetings like or the, the board meetings because they're making decisions about what's going on in that school. And that's your money. That's your tax dollars. Those people are making decisions. And people should be at those meetings because they're important. Yeah. I think this is the first question we've ever gotten from from somebody off of Twitch. Oh, interesting. Yeah, hey. it, is, it is interesting. But we don't we, we don't normally talk that stuff but since he, I, I brought up the fucking question. I had to open my motherfucking mouth and you now did it, it, you it, did it. It, is, it, is it wasn't it bad. I didn't go off on like crazy tangent. I know, you know, I know nobody's gonna come in here and be like this crazy liberal chick. I mean they could, but uh and fuck the Packers. <laughs> <laughs> you shut your mouth. I'm sure my team is better than yours, that's for sure. <laughs> especially oh, if it's the jets but we're not going to get into that <laughs> that's, that hurts people's feelings i don't want to do that yeah absolutely absolutely <laughs> all right lady g what are you passionate about this week this week don't, don't um, say politics <laughs> no 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 i i honestly uh i'm one of the crazy people that doesn't watch the news and i don't know what's going on in politics very sad. Yeah, you need to care. Oh, I didn't say I didn't care. I just oh, don't okay. know what's going on. Yeah, because there's a lot of bad things going on right now. And yeah. I think it's just important to know because um, people think, like, the U.S. is untouchable. But there are countries right now that could put a Shabbat in and nuclearize U.S. So... I think it's important to know what the fuck is going on sometimes because there's wars happening right now. And uh, I wouldn't doubt it if somehow we get involved next year. So I think it's important to know what's going on. A lot of bad shit is happening across the world. Yeah. Bad shit here too, but that's why this election matters. You know, I'm all about body autonomy. And the fact that they are trying to take that away from women um, really upsets me because it's just like, I don't think it's fair that men care so much about what goes on in their vaginas and instead they should just all get vasectomies. 
that would fix a lot of things. But nobody wants to talk about that. Nope. They just want to talk about how abortions are used as birth control, which is not true. And then when it is, the percentage Bro. is very small. So I don't think... go there. Hold on. We have a... Uh, Bring it! Good thing Stubbs isn't here because... Oh, no! no! <laughs> I should have said that! Son of a bitch! Now I'm just going to hear a lot of shit. Here we go. Uh, he's, he's frozen. Hold on. Oh, good. Yeah, it's frozen. It's a sign from God. No. <laughs> yeah, he's got to fix his... Oh, he's got to come back. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous now. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. Nah. So I guess to answer to answer your question, uh, Corleone. Uh, yeah, how, what are you passionate about this week? Um, I think this week I'm I'm just passionate about self care. Mm. Right. You know, like how important it is to prioritize yourself before you know job and. You know, stuff like that. Because the thing is, if we don't take care of us, the people that we take care of aren't going to have us. Um, the jobs that we work at would replace us in a heartbeat. You know, like I've always told uh, my jobs that, you know, my children come first, my family comes first. And I remember one time, it's, I guess it's been about four years now. Uh, something had happened at my daughter's school and I told my job, you know, I got to go. And they're like, well, if you leave, you know, there's no guarantee that you could come back. And I was like, then fire me. I said, uh, I could get another job. I can't get another kid. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know? So, and, and I'm not putting, I'm not putting no crazy job before, you know, my priorities. And, uh, so, but I think as as a parent, as a woman, um, as somebody who who loves their job and and lives with integrity, um, I think me personally, I think I fail to really do things for me. You know, um, take the time to just not worry about things. Just sit on my couch and crochet like a crazy mad woman uh you know soak my feet you know do do things like that like make myself a priority um you know because i've always Eat when been... you're hungry yes yes so or have the yeah. snack if you want you know like if you're craving sometimes having like a treat you know emotional eating is a, a bad thing sometimes you know, you just want some ice cream, and girl, you should have you should have some. You know ice what? You cream. just said that I'm about to go get me some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't on camera right now, I'd be eating ice cream. All right, before we get into that question, um, because she she brought up something. This is why I need to write things down. And then I saw Dubs, and then it like threw me off completely. Oh yeah, what's up, guys? I what's up? Like not too long ago. Well, thank you for joining. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm like, uh, I had to come outside like to really wake up. Oh, you know, okay. breathing that, you know, what I'm saying that that polluted Hudson County air. It wakes <sighs> you up, that's for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah, you know, you already know. Oh, uh, we got somebody asking questions about OnlyFans. Okay. If you if you found out your significant other had an OnlyFans, would that be a cause to break up, or would you see that as an opportunity for the household to get that bag? Yo, you know what? Uh, all money. All why money didn't my significant money. other tell me that they have an OnlyFans? Yo, all money ain't good money. No, but why was that hidden? If you're right. my boo, that, why aren't you ain't telling me that you be making money that way? I ain't judging. I just want to know how I could get it on the phone so we can make more money. Absolutely, right? Sure. sure. Yo, like, yo, yo, you know what? Pressure, I I'll, I'll, have a, I'll have a problem with that, man, because, like, Cause like you know what I'm saying, what's mine is mine. You know what I'm saying, like what's supposed to be mine is supposed to be mine. Baby, like I don't even care. It's like you still know, yours. I, yeah, but yo, but I'm but yo for everyone else to see. Nah, yo, like you know what I'm saying, like me, I got like certain standards, yo. Well, see, the only you know I mean? like fans doesn't just have to be about that though. 
Mm -hmm. Like I, I've seen people with OnlyFans about crazy, stupid stuff, not just sex and all that. What if so. it's just feet? What if your boo thing yeah. has an OnlyFans? It's just their damn feet. If he doing cute things, sandals, different. Bro, you can't like, 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 yo, you know what? Feet don't even generate that that much money. Are what? I don't think yeah, feet, feet, feet don't generate that much money. You know what you I'm saying? You want to try that as, again? As, as a yo, as opposed Ooh, to like you, you know, don't know about the I, foot fetish people, huh? Yo, as opposed to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, I bet you anything, whatever, feet probably feet... make more money than other body parts, which is weird. But yeah, there's a huge foot fetish uh cult out there. I've heard of people not only making money off of that making money off of used underwear or farting in a jar. Oh. So don't tell me people can't make money off of some stupid shit because they do. Farting in a jar, oh, yeah, so it's the, real. I mean, Big C, I mean, I mean, it's a real thing. What? <laughs> Yo, for that, you know what I'm saying? Just sell, you know what I'm saying? Just farting in a jar and just sell that shit too then. They probably make money off of that. I mean, you got to capture that you know, fart. Like, There's definitely a technique, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, people like yeah, some man, weird ass shit. Man. I, oh man, you know what? Now that I came outside, like now I'm fully awake. Like I'm gonna love this month. It's not hot, not cold. I'm gonna be outside. Is that what you're it's passionate so about this week? The weather. Well, yeah, passionate Dubs, about what, all what, what are you, Dubs, what are you passionate about this week? Oh, um, so um, there's like a written agreement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys next week that I have my girl sign, right? That it states it's a contract. Basically, it states that Thursdays from eight thirty to eleven. Oh, jeez. Saturday all day, but well, twelve to ten. Sundays all day until 11 and Mondays from 8 30 to 11 until February I'll be emotionally unavailable for her right right you know she wants anything done she better holler at me early in the morning for it so I don't want to be bothered after a certain time you're not gonna have you're not gonna you know what all right you know what half time is exceptional but it depends how far I'm going and what I'm if there's the an emergency store? or something, or your attention is desperate? Call nine one one before you call me. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like when you call the like any <laughs> medical place, and like, if this is a real emergency, please hang up and dial nine one one. I'm like, Absolutely. oh my god. Yeah, like, like you know, um, football season's amongst us, and then like my birthday's at the end of the month. Yeah, and hopefully, you know. Another, you know, 365 around this earth, around the sun, I mean, hopefully. But other than that, I mean, like, yeah, we, we just good, man. All right. You know, but um, football season is definitely it. Because, you know what, I want to have that feeling of, like, you know, one of the use, like, fentanyl, whatever I, whatever I watch the Jets play. I, I, I want to see some Jets shit this year. No. Besides the buff fumble, you know, I want to be like, damn, <laughs> that is the most jet shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I thought last year was bad. Four plays popped in Achilles. Nah, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but like a lot of people, like, you know, they're actually saying that, you know, whatever. I mean, it's, you know, predictions and shit. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you this much if the Jets do make a Super Bowl, you, you're going to hear about my arrest because I'm going to be sure. I'm gonna be streaking down some streaking down the main strip of Hoboken <laughs> naked. Imagine oh, um I, I, imagine Will Ferrell in that um in that college movie. I forgot the name of it. And he was streaking. Old school. Yeah, that would be me. My boy yeah, my blue. boy blue. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be looking at my balls because it's, it's January and it's cold as shit. You're my balls, Blue. <laughs> no, my, my, my balls, my blue. balls are blue. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, but not, nah, seriously though. Like, like you know, football. You know, like the weather's changing. Um, Sweater I do want to pick. Yo, know, I'm out in the hoodie right now because, because like 
it's warm out here, but it's warm, but it's not. You see what I mean? Like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's like it's like you know, like um, like like you know what? My like like my lady had the AC on. I'm like, yo, turn that shit off. Open the window. She's like, oh, this feels good. I'm like, yeah, no, that's why I told you to open the window. Just leave the fan on a little bit. You know, like the leaves the leaves are gonna change. I think that um that you know a drop to upstate New York would be you know good for the day or something like that, just to watch the leaves change at the Bear Mountain. You know, like nature shit. My time of the year. And um yeah, I mean like Halloween's next month. People, you know what I'm saying? But Halloween's every day because people wear their masks on everywhere. Anyway, so I mean you're not Halloween's dealing with them, you're dealing with the representative. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Hold on, man. Disrespectful ass truck. Um November Thanksgiving. Things to be thankful for. Just for the next day to go purchase some shit that I thought I was thankful for just because it's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> yeah, I'm th- I'm thankful for I'm thankful for my 65 inch screen TV, but that 85 inch is on sale for 499. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody thinks they're getting a real deal when they're actually oh, getting God. that shit on real t- retail price. Like they just dropped the store deal off. You know what I'm saying? The store right. price off. You know what I'm saying? You're getting what you actually pay for on Black Friday. Oh, they used to have really good deals, though. I don't know if it's still the same. I haven't done it in so long, but... I I never got involved with fucking... um, Oh, I totally did. That's why why it's Cyber Monday. Man, it was something my kids needed that I had to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and go get. Oh, man. No, no, no. Man, man, look, you know what? You know what? Let me tell you something, man. Like, I did Black Friday one time. And that was the first the last time because yo, I was like, yo, you know what? Like I like I got there, I, we got to the store with my I was with my ex, we got there like around three thirty in the morning. And we must have been like the seventy fifth person in line. Like people literally camped out. So I was like, yo, you know what? Like Yeah, it got too serious after a while. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I, the, the irony is hold on, man. Was that a bike? Yeah, that's a yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm right off the yeah, I'm I'm literally right next to Kennedy. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like Aww. right there. You know what I'm saying? Like um that's when I realized, like, yo, you know what? Thanksgiving is a bullshit ass holiday. Because you know what? Just a couple hours ago we were thankful for some shit. Now we're over here, you know what I'm saying? No, Black Friday is a bullshit holiday. Yeah, but you know what though? But but you know what though, like like Black Friday, you know what I'm saying? Like actually kept, you know what I'm saying, companies, you know what I'm saying, in the black. You know what I'm saying? If there was in the red that day, they made it to the black. You know what I'm saying? Save their fucking year. Because we took stupid do to understand what's going on. I'm about to go sit in my car, man. My fucking back is killing me. But yeah, I agree. I I get that. It's like when they try to get rid of shit that they need to before the, the new year. Yeah. Big C, what is your uh thing that you oh, were what? passionate about I this week? Passionate about was it this really? Week? Was it? I what? Remember what you said? Yeah. So, all right. So we, this, this is gonna this is gonna start off some shit, some new some some new topic or whatever. But... Wait, at, okay. oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, and then Christmas, what? and then Christmas, right? Um, you know what though, like, like you know, like. Like I love and I have a love hate, you know what I'm saying, relationship with Christmas. It's because it's like buying presents for people, right? Like I don't care about presents. Like personally, you know what I'm saying? I don't want no one to get me shit. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do it, do it, do it from the bottom of your heart. See, that's I the pro- see, that's the that's that's the problem, yo. That's but that's the problem though. It's like. Everybody expect presents. Yeah, that's right. Right. It's about Santa Claus. <laughs> every, I want presents. Every, every no, no, I'm serious though. Like everybody expect Me presents, too? right? But like, <laughs> but like, yo, you know what though? Like the whole thing is like, you know, like you're missing the point. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, well, not you, but 
you know, a majority of people miss the point. They just, you know what I'm saying? They just buy presents because they feel like they need to. It's like an obligation. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I do, you know what I'm saying? If I do something, I do something from the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want no, no, oh, yeah, you did this for me, and now I got to do it. Nah, 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 I don't want that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather, I you know what I'm saying? should never like, be that about that. But that's like, what Christian's about, Like, you should never give things with expectation to receive something. That doesn't, that's You're just right. not good to do but, in life. But, but, you know what? That's what Christmas turned out to be. Christmas is just a consumer holiday. And it's, it, and like I've Black noticed Friday. that, like, but it's not like that for everybody, though. No, but it's still like I've seen a lot of parents go super crazy buying a gajillion gifts for their kids. Their trees are like, you can hardly see the tree because there's so many presents. And it's kind of gotten just a little crazy because I remember Christmas for me. You know, we would ask for a few things. Mama didn't have no money. We couldn't bring a whole list to her or anything. And if we did, I knew I wasn't getting everything on that list. But, you know, it was the, the element of surprise, I guess, to see what, what I got. What did Santa bring me? Until I found out he wasn't real. But then... Uh, you just fucked it up for half the viewers right now. I mean, I swear to God, if you're an adult over 18 watching this and still believing in Santa, <laughs> you need to go to Finland because that's where he is. That's what I learned recently. So, yo, but Sa Christmas yo, Santa's a is blood. a beautiful time. A like, cr Christmas is like the only time that I feel like just universally people are nice. You... And you know what will it's make Christmas sad special? though, because it should always be like that. But it's only during that time where people are like saying "Happy Holidays," "Merry Christmas," hope you know, like everyone is nice. Um, then after that, it's like go fuck yourself. That's what I feel like. I feel like that's what it turns into. <laughs> yo, <laughs> you want to do what yo, now? No, you know, you you know what will make Christmas so much nice up here? Snow, snow, yes. yeah. Yeah, I want it to snow you know, here too. Like, I still have like, not experienced real PA snow. Like it has really? not like, hit. No, not where I've been. Like it snowed a little bit, but like the, they've been saying, like, oh, we're supposed to get all the snow. I've, I've heard the first time I ever heard of snow squalls was here, and thankfully I was not driving during that. But I did drive during a horrible thunderstorm where I literally couldn't see anything in front of me while I was driving. So that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you know what? I though, went like, really slow and my hazards yeah. went on. I am a safe driver. You, yeah, you know well. what though? Like, like, you know what? Like I'll appreciate if it snows, you know, like that, that right there would like, you know, would like probably bring out the kid in me with Christmas or whatever, you know, Throw yeah, my it does feel snow. more like Christmas yeah, you when know, it like, snows, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, or like, you know what, like, um, and speaking of snow, I hope, you know what I'm saying, like, I hope, I hope, like, Mother Nature does not, like, you know, decide to, like, throw a bunch of, like, you know, winter cocaine on us this summer. I mean, mm -hmm. this winter. You know, because, you never like, know. because, like, look, you know what, I can't show a shit. I ain't gonna fuck mm. on my back. You want to give me a ticket fine by me? Those kids you don't know? go around shoveling shit anymore. For man, these kids are fucking lazy, man. Like, like you know what? <laughs> you you right. know what? You know what? These kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, they rather stay indoors and play GTA online or some shit like that. Red Dead Redemption mm -hmm. or like Madden Online and stuff. They're you know, dumb. like, they could be like you know what? Money. Like, they they don't they they don't have that drive. Like, you know, like like we did. Yeah. Like, like you know, like we like we would like we would literally go around. But then again, I mean, I have a carport. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> but that, but, but, but then bye. again, you know what though? Like, like you know what? Like when they used to like we used to get storms. Like you know, we got blizzards. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's been a while, right? 90, like ninety three, ninety six. Um. Oh, ninety oh, six. I remember the storm of ninety six. Ninety six. Oh man, I remember. I remember ninety six, man. Like. Like you know what? Like I like like I came up here because um I came up here with my brother because we had to go to court for like like I flew up from Miami. We had to I, we had to go to court because um that legal guardianship shit like it kind of got messed up a little bit. I don't know what happened, so like we had to fly up here, you know, through the court in person or whatever, right? And um and like you know like we stood over my mom's house, and um 
we're supposed to leave the day that it snowed. So we end up staying like three extra days after the snowstorm. And I remember like the, like they had the bulldozers on Washington Street. And they were literally like, you know, like, you know, like putting the snow into the dump truck and dumping it in the river. That's before, you know, the EPA found out that that shit was like, you know, contaminating or whatever because of the salt. But, um, yeah, I remember that storm. That's like the first time I ever, I ever heard the path shut down. Yeah, the path train shut down. down. The path train shut down. Like, like, you know what? Like, that was like my first, like, you know, like real glimpse to what a state of emergency really was mm-hmm. because, um, because what you call it? Um, hold on, man. GTA. Speaking of Grand Theft Auto, no, I'm just playing. Now, um, <laughs> like you know, like that was like my first glimpse to like a, um, state of emergency. Man, you have people like with their ski, like skiing down, you know, skiing up and down the main strip. Yeah. Right. You have people skiing. Um, what to call it? Like people out there with their ski suits and whatever like yo it was yo what a time to be alive but like holy shit the next day after like like you know i was like yo you know what i'm gonna go outside and make some money so um me and jay the following day like you know like he's like yo i thought you were leaving i was like nah man i said i can't you know i'm saying the flights are canceled so me and him you know i'm saying we went around shoving the snow for like and we did it for like three hours and we made like then like a hundred dollars it was like twenty dollars that we were charging and we just got and we got it done quick. So we had a drive, you know what I'm saying? It's just that now, like these kids, man, like there's the whole world is online. So it's like Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Everything is is your phone and you know, putting your face in your phone, your iPad and you know, all that shit. <laughs> They're not. They're not gonna do real good when uh, apocalypse comes. <laughs> Hell no. Not gonna know how to cook, how to grow nothing, how to sew. <laughs> shit, I'm Bird. glad I can do all that shit. They're not even gonna Go get to real. the Walking Dead because they're just gonna be dead. <laughs> yep. That's yep. crazy, but yeah. Big C, what's your thing? Um. Hold on, I got to think for a second. Oh, we're so, really passionate about this week. So I was, I've been thinking, right? Football. Got a couple of, yeah, thinking about football, but I was scrolling through the internet, the vast world of the internet, and I came across a couple of things, and I'm just going to throw it all together because it has to do with what I'm passionate about, right? Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So it has to do with, with with love so mm-hmm. love love is to me personally and i don't know how you guys feel about it but to me just because you have sex with somebody doesn't mean you love them we know this nope. just because you're dating somebody doesn't mean you love them talking to somebody 24 hours a day seven days a week does not mean you love them all right Staying awake all day, all night, whatever it is you're doing with this person doesn't mean you love them. Why? Okay? You're crazy. All right, because you're here now. We get I'm it. I'm not saying I'm not staying up for nobody if I don't love them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, to me, like I, I had to write this stuff down because I was. You know, I was thinking a lot about it. Yeah, because I'm old and I would have forgotten about it if I didn't write it down. Mm-hmm. And I, Dementia. I, just, I, I just got <laughs> <laughs> I just got a whole bunch of new pens from Amazon. So I was writing with them and shit. So what but, type of um, pens are they? They're um black pens. I mean, oh, what type of ink? Black ink. No shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what type of points? <laughs> no Ballpoint. Ballpoint. Medium. Fine. He wants details. Bro, bro. Yo, 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 you know what? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, like, you know what? Like, like, like with me, like, I always gotta write with gel pens. I'm sorry. No, nah, this, you know this, this is a gel, this is a gel pen. It's a gel pen. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, good choice. Good choice. Yeah, it's a gel pen for sure. Because yo, you know what? 
If, if you got one of those like big pens, I would have been like party foul loser. No, nah, it's a it's a Joe it's a Joe pen. All right, yeah, it so, better be. Um, grown man shit. Yeah, so grown man shit exactly. So oh to, to me, for me, it's love is kind of like um someone can look at you and accept your tough side, your rough side, and still accept you for who you are, right? Um, it's someone who does things for you when you can't. Like, if you can't do certain types of things and this person is there to do these things with you or for you, that's, that's, that's a show of love. Someone who can hold you and calm you down when you're in one of your moments. You know what I'm saying? Um, love, is, love is someone who expresses all the good things in you, even though you think all those things are bad. So someone who, who can actually come into your life and accept you for who you are and show you that there are good things within you. Cause some people, they feel like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Who's going to love a motherfucker like me? You know what I'm saying? Like who, who's going to come into my life and and show me that they could deal with my bullshit. Cause let me tell you something. Some of my some of my some of my some of my bullshit is 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 some serious shit. You know what I'm saying? If it's to come into my life to be a part of my life means you gotta you gotta hand <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 just hard, you know. Someone is it someone Someone who makes sure you're okay from time to time hits you up. Hey, you know, even how you doing, how you been, you know, everything good with you and shit. You know what I'm saying? And someone who who just doesn't take you for granted. Somebody who appreciates who you are. Someone who appreciates the kind of person you are. You know, because you know, I've I've come I've come a long way. You know what I mean? Anybody who know me know I come a long way. I come from I come from some shit. You know what I'm saying? And and I think anybody who who decides to ultimately deal with me, you know, um I come I come with a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I yeah, come, I, come with a, I, I know we all do, but we I'm saying do. I come I come I come with a lot of shit and you know I think if you know you're gonna what was that another bike? Nah, that was me farting. Yo, my bad. You know what I'm saying? It was the burrito I ate earlier. No, I'm he's just farting nah, into oh. a jar. He's farting into a jar. He's got the tail yeah. down pack. Only fans. He's getting that money. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn it from only fans to only farts. <laughs> yeah. So, so I mean, you know, sometimes when 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 I look back and shit, like I think about, you know, some of the shit that that um. I've done some of the shit I've been through and shit. And I think to myself, I'm like, I'm not dead for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, there were times when I thought this was it, you know, and I'm I'm not. I'm here, bro. And I, I'm 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 telling you, man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really a big religious dude, but you know, I I've done some shit. I've been in the middle of some shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, what the fuck, man? I'm like, yo, Corleone, you, you, you here for a reason, man. Somebody, they, they're keeping you here for something. I don't know if it's to run for office eventually. Not maybe. You know what I'm saying? Or to fucking <laughs> do this or to, to help someone or do whatever it is. But I'm here for a reason, you know what I'm saying? And and I know, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Sometimes, sometimes I sit back and I'm like, yo, you remember the day this happened and that happened and this happened and that happened? Like, I'm gonna tell you a story. This is story time, real quick. I said, this is gonna freak you motherfuckers out. Huh? What was that? I said, oh my lord. Yeah, oh my lord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> This is story time. This is going to probably fuck some people's heads up when I say oh, this. Brother. All right. So I was at one. I was at a, I was at a point in my life when I was real low. Right, everybody's had them low points and shit. Right. 
I was living with my grandmother at the time and on Washington Street. I had, I, I'll never forget this, and Dubs will know, Dub, Dubs can, can, can tell you this. I had a green Nissan Pathfinder. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. And one day I was sitting down and I was saying to myself, I don't, and this is, this is, this is the unmedicated me. You know what I mean? And I was sitting there and I was like, I don't, I don't want to do this no more. Like, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to be here. Like, what the fuck am I, what am I doing here? Like, what's my purpose? I, I felt like I had no purpose. So what I did was I, I went to CVS, which was right across the street, and I I bought a bottle of um no dose. Not no dose, no, 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 night all. It was night all it was called. Mm -hmm. No dose is to stay awake, night all right. is to go to sleep. So that bottle had like 20 some pills in it, man. Let me tell you something. I drank the whole fucking bottle. I drank the whole fucking bottle. And I jumped in the car and I went for a ride. Okay. My intention was not to make it that night. Okay. Would you believe? Now, if that night did not kill me. All right. I got, I, all I remember, it was in the middle of winter. The temperature must have been like 10 to 15 below with the wind chill. I was like, I've had it with everything, right? I think I found out at that time my lady was fucking around or some shit and my job, I lost my job and I was like, yo, what the fuck and this and that, all this other shit. I don't want to fucking deal with it. And so I went and I did that, went for a ride. I get home. And all I remember was parking the car, right? And then I wake up in the hospital. I remember nothing between parking the car and I wake up in the hospital, right? So I'm hearing things, I'm seeing shit because I guess they had to they had to pump my stomach. So the nurse comes in and she was like, oh, my God, you're awake. She was like, it was touch and go. I was like, what are you? What the fuck are you talking about? She was like, you have no idea what happened. I was like, no. She said, you walked in here. In a T-shirt. Walked up to the nurse and said, I just took 20 some pills. I wanted to die. And fell out on the floor they rushed me in pumped my stomach and wow. they they you know pretty much did what they had to do to keep me alive right so i um my my aunt was a an, an rn in the, in the emergency room at the time she comes in to talk to me and she's like but what happened and i, I was like i don't even know man i was so i they told me they were going to keep me and they were going to lock me. They were going to put me in the psych ward. Observation. Yeah. Make sure, you know, I was mm -hmm. good, but I started to feel better. Like my senses started coming back and shit after all this shit that went on. And, um, I said to the nurse, I was like, cause they had me on an IV. I said, look, I need something to drink, something to eat or whatever. They were like, oh, you know, the, the, Vending machines are right outside the door. So go ahead and get something or whatever and come back. So when I went to the vending machine, I was so freaked the fuck out about what they had told me, what had happened and what I remembered. I took the fucking, I snatched the IV out of my hand and I ran home. So I run the fuck home. I got blood squirting from my fucking fist because of the IV. I get home and I wrap my hand, my my hand, my my fist, my the I bandaged it up, 
And my grandmother was like, you know, what happened? Where you been? And I was like, I was like, nah, you know, I'm all right. Everything's cool. So my mother comes upstairs and she says, listen, what the fuck happened to you last night? I said, what do you mean? She said, the cops came to the house and said they found the car door open with the keys on the floor to the car. Oh, my God. And nobody in sight. And they were one. They know it's your car. They were wondering where the fuck you are. What the fuck happened? I was like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I must have fallen asleep halfway or whatever. I don't know what the fuck. And she was like, all right, just get some rest. You look a little tired. Cops come to the house. And it was, it was, it was Sammy the cop and it was George. And they were like, listen, man, we just got a call from, from the hospital saying that you left and you needed to stay there. So either you're going to come back with us willingly or we're going to have to take you by force. But you have to go to the hospital. So I was like, all right, I go to the hospital. I spend some time in the unit. And that whole time I was thinking to myself, I was like, what the fuck was I thinking? I could have not only ended my life, but I could have ended somebody else's. Right. You know what I mean? And I just, it was, it was just one of those moments in my life that, that helped, that helped me realize that, yo, I'm, I'm here for a reason, man. This, I'm, I'm here to, to do something for somebody or, or to something, you know what I'm saying? I I I, I, th- I started thinking more about my kids. I started thinking more about a lot of shit, you know? And I mean, I, I, I've been down a couple of times after that, but it's never gotten to that point. You know what I'm saying? Because not that it, it, you don't, you don't, you don't grow if you don't experience you know what I'm saying? Like if you don't experience certain things in your life, you know, you don't grow. And I grew from that situation. Like I, I learned that that no no matter what the fuck, man, if you're here for a reason, man, you're gonna stay here till your purpose is fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? And that that's how I feel about that, man. That's 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 just that was just a little story time. I just had to say something about that. Cause it, it, it I've I've been like I've been thinking a lot about my my mortality and shit. I used to go. I used to when I was when everybody, when everybody's a kid when you're young and you're growing up and you think you're invincible and shit. You know what I'm saying and and the older the older I get, the more I realize that you know it's you you're living on borrowed time, man. You know, and if and if your time isn't your time. It's not your time. It'll happen when when it happens. And it, it, it wasn't meant for me to go at those times. And you know, I I I've been I've been damn man. I've been in and out of of places when I was a kid too. Like there was this place called Fair Oaks. That's in Summit. I don't know if it's there anymore. It might be under a different name, but it was called Fair Oaks. It was in Summit, New Jersey. And um, they did they did some ill shit to me there in that hospital, bro. Like I used to get I used to get ECT treatments. You know what that shit is? Mm-hmm. That's not that's a fucking shot treatments. That's not I got 12 of those treatments when I was in that hospital, bro. And and they all I would wake up was a fucking headache and some memory loss. They said that that was supposed to be like the best way to shock the depression out of somebody or some shit to shock it out of you. But that shit's inhumane, bro. You they they should not have been doing that shit. But I I I, I experienced a lot of that shit, and I'm just glad that I'm here with y'all. I'm here now with my kids, and I got my grandkids, and I got. I'm saying I got I got I got an okay life. Like I'm not I'm not you know I'm grateful. You know what I mean? And you know if if I think and I and I also think that's one of the reasons why like I like to, to I, I don't have any 
any kind of like issue or or any kind of like like there's no I have no no like I'm no I have no stigma like I don't I, I'm not afraid to talk about my shit. You know what I'm saying because if whatever I talk about can open up somebody else's eyes or help somebody, you know what I mean? Then then so be it. But I just I just feel like you know. I can teach somebody or help somebody with some, and even even with fantasy football. If anybody wants to learn how to play fantasy <laughs> football and shit, you know what I'm saying. I'm really good at that shit too. You know, I got a couple yeah. of championships. Look, I got a championship ring right here. You, you know, know what? what? Look you, at that. you know what? Like, but but no, no. Like, hold on, hold on, like, hold on, hold on, real quick. But in all realness, you know, if if anybody wants to hit up anybody from the show, the email addresses are coming across the bottom. If you want to speak to a specific, you know, host, co-host, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Email addresses are on the bottom. They'll be glad to get back to you and holler at you about whatever it is you want to talk about. So anyway. You know what? Wait, no real dick quick. pics, thanks. Real, yes. Yeah, don't, real don't quick, right? that shit. Real quick, right? You've been around for the times where, like, <laughs> you've been around for the times where, like, I was, like, on my self-destructive shit. And that's and that was a span of twenty years. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, um, the it's Wildwood incident where I overdosed. Mm -hmm. I woke up, yo, I woke up Wildwood. I woke up one morning drinking a hundred proof liquor at five in the morning, and then like I had like two ecstasy pills. Right, I popped one, drank more liquor before they even got up. I was already drunk on the boardwalk and high as shit. And the last thing I remembered was popping another pill on the boardwalk because I forgot to pop the first pill, oh, right? God. And the second pill was a lot stronger. I was flirting with some girl from Philly and she was sitting on my lap when we were playing a drinking game. Then all of a sudden, shit hit. And then, like, I remember just stumbling to the, um, to the bathroom. I was trying to, like, throw up. I got a picture to prove up. it. But I, but I couldn't throw up or nothing. But, like, yo, you know what? Yeah, and you know what I'm saying? It was all fun and jokes at the time, but, like, yo, I was dying. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I literally yeah. passed out. And you know what I'm about to say? I don't know if it's drugs or nothing, but I saw these, I I, I saw these dudes, like I, I saw Coleon and Jay kick, you know what I'm saying, kick the door and move my body. And I'm floating and I'm watching this shit. And they're slapping the shit out of me. They're like, yo, this nigga's not breathing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, he's not breathing. He's not breathing. And like they just threw me into the um bathtub and threw water on me. Right? Like threw water on my face and whatever. Yeah. And like that's the last thing I that's I seen it, but that's the last thing I remember. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, like I like I said, I don't know if it was the drugs, but I was like floating over and seeing this shit happen. Then all of a sudden, like my face is all wet. I'm like, yo, what's going on? And I couldn't even get up. Like I had to crawl to the bed and I slept for like probably and like once, 12, and 13 once hours. we told them we would have to call his mom. He sobered up a little bit before he went to sleep. Yeah, yeah you know, like, yeah, we were like, yo, I'm and, gonna um, fucking call your mom. And she was, he was like, uh, bro, like, that was, first off, you know what I'm saying? When, like, I, like, I, I remember that part. I was like, yo, like, I was struggling to, like, stay alive. Like, I was scared. Like, see, like, that's not, like, you know what? I was, like, fucked up, but I was scared. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know what? Like, I try to, like, move my hand a little bit, try to, try to feel the pulse and every time I didn't feel nothing I was like yo fuck I'm dying bro like I was like mm -hmm. literally scared bro like like you know like it's a joke now you know but that's one you know what I'm saying um the times like you know I would drink like a gallon of Tito's in front of this dude he'll try to take my keys I'm like nah I'll wing it and drive home I don't remember how I got home oh god right there was one time I was like all the way up in um, Lake Apacon, drunk as hell, drunk and coked up, driving home at three in the morning, almost hitting a deer. And that's the last thing I remembered. Like, like you know what? Like, I was on 80, um, going down. You know what I'm saying? The last thing I remember was, like, passing Morristown. And I don't remember nothing after that. I woke up in my car at seven in the morning, right behind City Hall. Right? My car was running, and it's, and it's winter time. You know, like I put my, you know, what I'm saying I put my life at, you know, what I'm saying at risk because I did not care. I just didn't care. Like, you know, I had no care about nothing. 
You know, like nothing didn't matter to me. Life itself didn't matter to me. You know, and like the day I got my DUI, like once again, liquor and drug, like see, look, li see, liquor will always be my demon. You know what I'm saying? Because like it opens me to other things. So it's liquor. Like I was at my barber's house getting a haircut. I woke up. I had a dream about my brother who recently passed away. And I remember the dream so vividly because like it was me and him talking. I was telling him I missed him. And um, we're here talking like, you know, we gave each other a hug, whatever. And I'm like, bro, man, like I'm so happy to see you and this, that, and the third. So then like, you know, like we're talking in the dream. He was like, hey, I got to go. So I was like, yeah, I'll walk with you. He was like, nah, you can't come. And he, like when he walked away, I was like trying to walk, but I couldn't. But I was trying to like follow him. But then like I, I felt like I was I was like stuck, still trying to walk. Like my feet was moving, but I was like stationary. Like like on a um on one of those like walking things in the gym. Is it stationary? Know. Yeah, my bad. I can't even pronounce. I'm a little tired. Um <clears throat> and I like when I woke up, I woke up crying. So um that set the tone for that day. I went and got a gallon of Tito's, was drinking what my you know what I'm saying. Was drinking the Tito's, or whatever. Me and my, me and my father was cutting my hair. Right? Yeah, more people come. The one that I knew that, you know, they had like a little powder. So I copped it from him without, you know, no one knowing. Went to the bathroom, you know, doing bumps. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do a whole line. I'm going to rail this whole bag. You know, like, felt like Scarface for a minute. I'm like, okay, I reloaded. Because, like, you know, like, once, like, you know, like, um, certain drugs get into you, like, liquor tastes like water. So then I went to go get, then I went to go get another bottle. And then, like, um, somebody else came down and I knew they had pills. So I copped three pills from them. Percocets. I popped when I was drinking. Like, you know what? That day I just had a death wish. You know? But at the same time, I just didn't want to feel nothing. You know, like, I wasn't trying to feel nothing. So, my barber was telling me, he's like, yo, you're a grown man, but I think you should stay here. I remember the conversation. He's like, yo, just keep, yo, I'm going to take your keys. I'm like, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I got pissed off at him. Like, I'm like, nigga, give me my fucking keys, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was like, all right, bro, yo. He's like, you sober, right? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm sober. I haven't, I haven't drank nothing all, you know what I'm saying, since 9 o'clock. It was midnight. I thought I was sober. When I got into the car and I started driving, that's when everything came back up. That's when everything, like, um, that's when everything, like, all the liquor that I was drinking, it showed itself. I was like, oh, fuck. I said, like, well, I'm halfway here. So I'm driving and I don't remember anything else. I do remember getting in the Hoboken, though. Don't ask me how I got there because I can't tell you that. Um, my guardian angel was working overtime that day, right? I parked the car, and um, I'm like, yes, I made it, right? And I parked the car pretty good, too. I said, you know what I'm saying? Open the door. I said, yo, not bad for a drunk guy. <laughs> you know, making a little joke. I turned the car off, and I'm here trying to move, but I'm like, yo, I'm just too fucking tired. And I just passed out. I wake up like three and a half hours later, like it's three thirty, to like like eight to ten cops around my car, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And like they were talking all this gibberish shit and whatever, right? And I'm like, I really couldn't understand what the fuck they were saying. So <clears throat> they gave me a sobriety test. I remember passing the sobriety test. I passed that part because the police report said I I passed it, but I failed the breathalyzer, big time. So they took me in and stuff, right? And that was the first time I was ever embarrassed about getting arrested. And I've been arrested plenty of times. But this was like the first time I was ever embarrassed. Like ashamed. Like I'm saying to myself, like, you know, like that's when, like in the cop car, like it hit me. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is, well, what, yo, what is your malfunction now, bro? You know, like, you can't, yo, you know what, they'll like, like, you know, like, 
you out here putting other people's lives at risk, you out here putting your life at risk, you know, like, and then like, you know, like when I was handcuffed and I'm here thinking about this shit, I'm like, yo, what happens if I, what happens if I would have collided head on with, with a family and a baby and you wipe that, you know what I'm saying? You wipe that, you do, you kill that baby. He's like, cause nine out of 10 times, you know, pe- the, the person who's drunk, they survived the accident. Mm-hmm. Damn, this got free at that too, free of energy. I'm like, yo, could, I'm like, yo, could you live with that? Can you do 17 years? You know what I'm saying? With blood on your hands in a cell, knowing damn well that you did some shit like that. You know, like I'm here thinking of everything and everything. I'm like, yo, something's got to change, bro. You know, like <clears throat> I got to get my shit together. You know, like really, I got really got to get my shit together. And um. But, you know, so, like, I, I'm here checking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, putting my hands in, like, my side pockets because I had sweat. I was wearing sweatpants that day that had side pockets, like cargo sweatpants, right? And <clears throat> these cops didn't frisk me, right, because I still had two more pills. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, yo, you know what? This puts me this puts me in a jam because, like, why have they frisked me again? See what I mean? If they frisk me again because they could do that and they find yep. that shit, that's an extra charge. So, yes, so I was like, so, um, the cop that we know that we used to go to the bar with, I ain't gonna mention his name, he was working that night. He sees me, he's like, yo, what the fuck, bro? Like, I just read your report. I'm like, I'm a little fucked up in the game right now, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, damn, bro. I was like, yo, can I use the bathroom? I gotta go use the bathroom. It's like, I was a guy, I bet, you know what I'm saying? I gotta use the bathroom. He's like, yo, I gotta watch you. I'm like, I don't care. I just, I just gotta pee. So I go pee, right? And like, I like, you know, like I had the pills in my hands. I said, yo, you might want to wash my face a little bit to so, so stay up. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I may wash my face. And meanwhile, washing my face, I threw the two pills in my mouth, right? And then like, I threw like extra water, like little like drops of water, at least. So I could swallow this shit, pause. And, um, I swallowed it, pause, right? 30 minutes later, right? I got so fucked up on these two pills, bro. I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, man, you know what? At least I'm relaxed. You know, like, like I had no other choice, though, because I'm not trying to get hit with a drug charge. You know, so I was like, yeah, I got to sacrifice something. You could have flushed them or something instead of. Well, I paid for them. I paid for them. It was my last hurrah. You know what I'm saying? Ridiculous. That was not the time. Yo, you know what? (laughs) You fucked up. (laughs) Yo, I paid for it. It was my last hurrah. So, like, you know what I'm saying? And I knew it was going to be my last hurrah. You know what I mean? So it was like. Damn. Like, you know, like my parents came at like 5 30 in the morning to pick me up. They just looked at me, right? And I couldn't even. That was the first time I couldn't even look at my parents. So. Walk of shame. Not, yo, Real I walk of look, shame. I could yo, I could not look at my parents. So you know what I'm saying? Like I just had my head down. Right. And they were like, You want to talk about what happens? I like, no. Like I was just like so depressed. Like I went to my room, right? I, you know what I'm saying? I went to my room because like I was staying with them at the time. I laid down and I just started like just like staring. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, like. Like, yo, you know what? Before I start getting more depressed, I got to figure out what it is, you know? And I, and I knew that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was going through some, you know what I'm saying? Through some shit. But, like, that, that shit with my brother, I knew that it was unfinished. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't finished mourning him. Mm-hmm. So it was like, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just holding back. And, like, it just came out. And, um... You know, I was like, yo, after that, man, I'm like, I'm like, bro, something's got to give, man. Like, like, you know, like either, either, you know, like either something changed or I may not even be here in the next week. You know, yeah, like, man. and, um, and yo, but like, but like, yo, you know what? Like, like, Holy has been, you know what I'm saying? He's been present. Cause he even tried to snatch my keys before, right? Like funny, like the funniest incident. I left his house drunk as hell. 
I ended up turning back around, going up the wrong street because I got lost. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I don't know where I'm at, yo. I'm like, oh shit, the cops here. I remember, yeah, I remember that part. Like, I did not know, like, like I left this house, like I knew where to go to catch the highway and stuff. But for some reason, like my my whole like equilibrium was shot. Like I got confused of where I was going. I was like, oh shit, I don't know where I'm at. You know? So like um I ended up like driving back to this house and just spending the night over there because like I couldn't go nowhere. You know, but like I understand the whole thing about being self destructive, man, because like if there was one if there was one person that was self destructive, it was me. Like I self destructed anything. I couldn't have nothing good, you know, whether it be relationships, whether it be a standard relationship with my parents. I couldn't have nothing good. I always have to fuck it up somehow. You know, like, like, you know what? If something was too easy, I'm like, nah, let me put my touch on it because I'm used to because you know what? I'm used to that organized chaos. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm used to that organized confusion, the organized chaos. That Like, that was the world I lived in, you know, like. If something was going too good in a relationship, I just wanted to spice things up because I'm used to it. You know, it was like, it, it was like, you know what? Like, I didn't know that I was like being a master manipulator on some shit, you know, but you know, that's what happened. Like I was manipulating a lot of things and um, that's what they caused me to be like very, and I was narcissistic about it so that's what got me that that's what caused me to be very self-destructive with it and you know thank god like I, I know you know like being supposed to you know touch on religion whatever but you know I have my little beliefs here and god has kept me alive for a reason you know like I'm always going to be an alcoholic I'm always going to be an addict I'm always going to be an opiate opioid addict an opiate addict you know I'm always going to be that you know like and I accept that for what it is. That's the reason why, like, you know, I, you know, like, like I'm, like, I'm thankful I have enough strength to be around people that drink because I don't drink. You know, I could be around people that drink. I could go in the bar and just order water and pineapple juice and cranberry juice and orange juice all day. You know, like, I could do that. You know, like, I have not wanted to taste no liquor since then. And I'm going through a lot of shit right now. And this, mind you, this liquor at my house right now, I haven't touched no liquor, no nothing. I don't even want to smell it. I don't even drink wine. The minute, you know, because like my thing is that the minute I the minute I get a taste for liquor, the minute, you know, it's like a vampire with blood. You know, like the minute, you know what I'm saying? Like the minute you get that taste, that first taste of blood, so I want it all the time that's that's gonna be me all over again. Yeah, you want to stay away from that shit, bro. You gotta, yeah. What about um, any anybody else with something they've done that was self destructive that they want to story time? Are we good with that? No. TG's gonna be like, I once went to Target and called the Walmart. That's self destructive. <laughs> 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 Some Karen like shit on my end. No. Yo, 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 yo TG was getting escorted by the but TG was getting escorted by the security guard. She was like, unhand me, you ruffians. I'm a proud oh, chef of Tarjay. <laughs> That's right. Tarjay, baby. Tarjay. Oh my god. No, I mean, I feel like we all self-sabotage. Um it's sort of, it's a destructive behavior that we have when we have been let down, when we do put expectations on people and they don't meet those expectations. Um, it's sort of like you just set yourself up every time and that's what it is. And the person might might be a good person. They might be trustworthy and they didn't do anything, but you're feeling like they're hiding something. Like, you can't trust people because your view is jaded on people because you've given trust and it's been broken. So I think that's a common thing for people to self-sabotage. I mean, women, especially uh, 
talk very badly to themselves. A lot of women do that. Like we say things and I don't know, I can't speak for men. So, but many women I know have spoken very badly to themselves in ways that you would never say that to someone you love. Um, and that's, that's that self-criticizing component in our brain that's constantly like, you're not good enough or, you know, you, you did mess up. This is what you do. Uh, you know, like there was a word you said, I don't know who's going to deal with me. And when you said that, I was like, wow, why would you say that? Why, why deal with you? You're not someone who like someone needs to deal with. You're someone that someone needs to love and support. So it's not dealing with you. It's accepting you is what you want, you know? So we all have our insecurities. We all have our little, you know, parts that have been hurt, our experiences that have uh, jaded us or have put us in a position to not trust people easily. But I don't think that's a bad thing, the whole not trusting people easily, because you just never know. There are a lot of assholes out there. That there are. Absolutely. And there are a lot of people who are manipulative and will try to use you, you know. But one thing I've learned is that you really got to listen to your gut because your gut really does fucking tell you when something is off and you need to listen to that shit. Exactly. Like eating Taco Bells at 3 a.m. Like who does that? Yeah, definitely not. White Castle even. White Castle. Oh, oh, after drinking God. and then going to White Castle. Like that oh. was a smart idea. Like your ass wasn't no, going to be in no, the toilet no, for two no, hours. No. Come on, bro. No, no. I got no, no, no. You know what? I got something to top that. Checkers. I don't, we didn't really have, che- where was Checkers? Right down Communal Pole. We used to go over there like, 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 you know what? Like we used oh. to be over there at, um, what's the name of that spot, man? Like, Cave and Point. Yo, Kevin Point, right? Drinking, getting, just drinking smoked out, right? And then, like, you know, we would roll over the checkers or whatever. Checkers on Communipol by 440. Yeah, bro. Oh, my God. Yo, you know what? And order, like, mad food and stuff, right? Chicken sandwiches were a dollar back then. Oh, oh yeah, my yo. Lord. <laughs> the check, yo, the, yo, the checker burger. You know what I'm saying? Those, those and the, chicken sandwiches are banging, though. Oh man, yo, and and the checker fries They're probably like five dollars. Yeah, that's the all you need is five dollars. The checker fries and three chicken sandwiches and an order of fries. You good, yo? Oh my god, yo, now you know what? it's like now, twelve dollars for a fucking Big Mac bro, meal or whatever. <laughs> yo, like, yo, yo, for that, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what? If I want to spend twelve dollars, you know what I'm saying? I just go to the buffet. Get all right. Like eat. nowadays, it's like, well. I could go to McDonald's and spend almost $15 for something. Or for that, I could get a whole fucking pizza. I could get, you know, there's other things you could get. Now you can, like, make a choice. Before, it was a no-brainer. It's like, all right, I'll do a file, a biggie bag, whatever. You know, like, it was like, I got five bucks. I remember we always used to go to McDonald's and get um, the two cheeseburgers. It was $2.99, two cheeseburgers, fries, and a drink. 317 plus tax. That's yeah, right. That's what the tax. 317. Yep. And you and yo, and always oh, make sure wait, you wait, have 317 wait, for that shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do you remember when they had the chicken fajitas at McDonald's? Oh my God. Oh man. They were I like don't even salad? I remember I even remember when they had salads. Didn't yeah, they have yo, like didn't they have like shaker salads or something yep. like that too or something? Yeah, they did. Uh, they did. They did. They, they yeah, did. they used to have like a bunch of different shit. Yeah, they had McRib. healthy choices at one point. <laughs> the McRib. Oh god. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yo, what? yo, yo, I remember we were at McDonald's, right? And um like it was some Mexican dude that was getting that was getting my order messed up. <laughs> and I remember he was standing he was standing like right behind me and shit. I'm like, bro, you're acting like a big asshole right now. You're fucking up my order, bro. Get it right. Big asshole. I like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I had, oh yo, I had people laughing. They were like, yo, this dude just called him a big asshole. I was like, nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, man. I said, but come on. It's a poppy, man. Number one, yo. It ain't that hard, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> number one. I know. You, you always went in, like, knowing your number that you were ordering, knew how much it was going to be. I can't. Or like, or, or, like, sometimes you just went up in there, like, yo, let me get a Whopper. Yo, fam, you McDonald's, bro. Oh, yeah, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> let me get a Big Mac, yo. Like, my bad. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, my bad. Yo, let me get a Big Mac with cheese. So, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go around the room real quick for the last time of the night. Lady G, your final thought for this evening. Final thought. Hmm. Everybody is going through something. It's not what happens, but what we do about it that matters. That was short yeah. and sweet. Yes. True. In, in true Lady G fashion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dubs, what about you, bro? What's your final thought for the evening, bro? I was wondering, does that fart in the jaw really work? <laughs> hmm, can I make money? How to generate income. Well, I don't know. I mean, people <laughs> fart in the covers and put it over their head. I, I mean, it lasts that long, right? Dutch oven. Yeah. You know so. what? You, you know what? I think I'm going to do that to my girl today just because. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, don't you dare. Don't Yo, you dare. She doesn't deserve that. That's wrong. But I'm gonna do All it right. anyways because I'm a I'm a jerk. <laughs> You're a big <laughs> asshole. Hello. You're a big <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Hello. I mean, you know, like nah, 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 nah. You know what? In all honesty, you know what I'm saying? My final thought is like before you go love somebody, man, like love love yourself, like even your flaws. Love your love your flaws too as well. Because you know what? Your flaws. May be the may be the thing that that other person you're looking for, that other person looking at, loves about you. Right. So whatever is a flaw to you is not a flaw to them. Right. Absolutely. Great thought. So just like so like just love yourself, man. Like you know what I'm saying. Lot. You know what? Even if, you know, even if you have to look in the mirror, you know what I'm saying, in the bathroom mirror, and lie to yourself, keep lying until the sounds true. And once it sounds true, then you start to believe it. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? Once you start to believe it, then it's the truth. Mm-hmm. There's words sometimes, of affirmation. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you, know, sometimes you have to, like, lie to yourself. You know what I'm saying? In a positive way. So everything could gel together. Right. You know, like, so just keep, you know what I'm saying? Just keep saying this. Just keep telling you, you know what I'm saying? Just keep looking at that person in the mirror because that's the only competition. Nobody out here is a competition, but the person you see in the mirror every morning, and the person you see in the mirror every night. Absolutely, TG Love, your final thought of the evening. I have to go to the bathroom, and I've been holding it for quite some time. That's my thought. Uh, <laughs> I just gotta pee, and I'm like, oh my god, when are we gonna shut up? No, uh, I just go back to what I said earlier. Just. If you're going to talk shit and not like things, then vote. So. All, right. All right. My final thought for the evening is actually a shout out. I'm going to give a shout out to my dudes at Fort Bricks Productions. They're doing big things over there, Fort Bricks Studios. Um, all right. All right. Yeah, I know you can, you're talking you can, about. You can check them out on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Right now, they got a bunch of. Hot shit talk. flowing over there. They're on a bunch of platforms. Go check them out. Fort Bricks Productions, Fort Bricks Studios. They're doing big things. Check them out. And as far as I'm concerned, that is it for the evening. Good night, everybody. And always remember that at some point, this might this hurt. Might hurt. Good night, people. Bye. Uh, my bad for being a little late. Why is the time still going on? Yo, what? Yo, why, what's up with the time? Why are we still live? What